the last talk I was talking as the Apple committee chair. This time I'm talking as the alternate images SIG chair. Um, so CentOS alternative images, I think that's up a little bit. I'm getting some feedback and I'm this far away from the microphone. Um, let's talk about it. Uh, this is a brand new SIG that isn't technically formally approved yet, but we're on our way. Um, some of the goals, I'm not, these slides are basically the template in slide form. I'm not going to read them all, but I'm going to sort of highlight things. And if you want to read over my shoulder, go for it. And these slides will be up there. Uh, I, I wanted to start the alternative images. Pardon me wants to say AI SIG, but that's probably a totally different. How about alt image SIG, the alt image SIG? Um, for two main reasons. One, I really like live and live images. Sometimes I'm going to call live CDs or live DVDs. They're live images. Uh, I really like those because I can go, well, they have their uses. You all know their uses. I like them. Uh, I also really liked Alma's got the minimal, minimal installed DVD or ISO image. Um, whereas CentOS Stream has this either a network install or this massive eight gig thing. And um, and I was like, you know what? I, I'd heard the rumblings elsewhere. And so I says, hey, I'll step up. Uh, besides, I like doing these sort of things. Um, so that's the, the main reason why I wanted to start it. And uh, I'm when I sent out the email, a lot of you guys, some of you guys, a few of you, um, said that you wanted to do it too. Okay. <laughs> Actually, it's up to what, six now. Said that you want to do it. So anyway, does that fit on there? It does. Uh, okay. So the goals. The main goals is we want to be able to uh, reproduce, not necessarily the images, but make them easy to build, like with scripts and infrastructure, so that it's not hard to maintain. Uh, some of the goals is we're going to update them all at least once per quarter so that they don't get old. We're not going to keep, you know, Neil somewhere was talking about the, the his SIG having old, stale images. Uh, my plan is not having more than just one older image, if that. So updated once a quarter, not keeping a lot of them. Um, what else do I have? Hmm. Yeah. It's, it's really fairly simple. Uh, membership, if people want to work on it, I'm not going to do it for you. If, if you want an, an image, a live image or an install image that does X, Y, and Z, great. Come to me and we'll get you started on the scripts, but I'm not going to do it for you. So you need to, to work for it. But if you get things set up, I will continually maintain them, that once a quarter script run. Um, how we're going to communicate, uh, well, main thing right now for the CentOS dev thing, we got to set up, once we're totally approved, the CentOS alt images IRC channel. Um, plan on holding right now IRC meetings. Uh, I picked that time. It have, they haven't happened. You haven't missed them because, like I said, it, we're still waiting for the approval. Like I said, this is just a template, so we're going to go through. This. this is the main part I wanted to do. What's, what's in scope? Like I said, live CDs. The, personally, I want a KDE one because you know me, but I also want an every desktop one. Um, Every, you know, I got Kitty Gnome XFCE Mate Mate, <laughs> but you know, now that I know that Lumina is in there, we'll, we'll put that in there. Um, I put Live Rescue because that sounds good, but I've never done one of those, so that's lower on the thing. And 
my minimum installs. These others are just examples, but those two are the main ones that I want. If others want to come, uh, I said membership, people come to us and we can, we can work with them. That could be some of the other SIGs, like the automotive SIG, the, uh, what is it all you guys do? It starts with an H, hyperscale. If you guys want to work with me, we can we can do that. Um, so we'll be anyway. So those are what is in scope. What is not in scope? I think this is almost bigger. Um, first off, they got to be the repos have got to be compatible with Fedora. We're we're not going to suck in a repo. Uh, I'll just name the one that I know people are going to ask: RPM Fusion. We can't put that on a, a CentOS site. So if we're, there, we're not sucking in the RPM Fusion stuff, sorry. But it's got to follow the, the I'm doing Fedora licensing policy. I don't know if CentOS Stream has one, but I'm sure it fits that. Oh, OK. Uh, we also aren't going to do gigantic ones. Uh, the I'm sort of doing that for infrastructure, but sort of like CentOS Stream already has this giant DVD. Why duplicate that? Uh, the others, oh, these don't fit in there. Rats, they've scrolled off my screen. Okay. <laughs> AWS, I'm personally not interested in making the AWS. CentOS Stream makes AWS things. I do that as my day job. I don't want to do that as my SIG job. Um, QCOWs, dupe, ditto. Um, Roz, I put maybe down there. Uh, at, we're not starting off with that, but you know, if somebody wants to make a Raspberry Pi raw CentOS stream thing, if it works within the infrastructure, I'm not going to say no to it. And what was that other one? <laughs> Rats. Sorry about that. Let's let's get a different slide. Let's see if this fits better. Where'd my mouse go? Mouse, where are you? There you are. Okay, let's see if it fits better on this one. Uh oh, containers. Containers. Sorry, forgot about containers. It's definitely not gonna be there at as we start it, but if somebody wants to, again, do containers, do the infrastructure, I'm not really sure that fits in this scope, but I'm not going to say no to it right now because we haven't had any meetings and stuff. Okay, collaboration. Oh, I didn't know that was a slide. We already went over that. Deliverables. Okay, there's really only going to be two deliverables. The first is documentation and a GitLab thing where we can put how to do things and the scripts to do the things. And the other deliverable is the images. That's fairly simple. Uh, we're going to, for creating the images, we are going to, if at all possible, use the Fedora, not Fedora, the CentOS stream, the CentOS infrastructure. If that sort of goes with Fedora, Great, or wherever possible, use CentOS infrastructure. CentOS is Koji. If we get Image Builder set up in CentOS, do that. Um, we also want to use their mirroring and storing the ISOs infrastructure um, in a publicly downloadable, yeah, publicly downloadable area. So I already went over that stuff. So deliverables, okay, here's the roadmap. You guys could read that. Hopefully it makes sense. This will be in the slides. Have you guys seen? No, nobody's seen this yet, have you? No, I made it a couple, uh, at least a week and a half ago, and it hasn't shown up anywhere yet. Okay. Um, so the roadmap is basically twofold, almost like the previous Thing deliverables is twofold. The documentation and the infrastructure setup can be going on at the same time. 
Uh, we need to get a Peugeot or some maybe GitLab uh, thing set up. And, oh, sorry, this is, this AIBAG stands for uh, Alternative Images. Oh. I didn't put every single slide document on my slides. Whatever it stands for, you need to put a bar in there. Yeah, it should just be airbag. Yep, we will do. Preachers. Um, basically, we need to the we need to get the documents set up, and like I said, two and three can be doing at the same time. We're still working on number one, six setup. Like I said, I've got the template written. I'm trying to get it in place. Uh, it hopefully, we'll make it into the wiki soon. Um, but we got to get instructions for creating the, creating the images as well as um, getting the place for those scripts to live and get them set up. And then the infrastructure. I'd like, we can use Image Builder. We can use Koji. We'll use whatever we can can get. Is basically it. Um, and that's it. That's all. That's all I have on the thing. So, here's where I really want questions and answers because I know some of you guys are interested in them. <laughs> it, it stood for permissions. I had that on permissions thing. So alternative images, build, build building administrators group. Exactly. <laughs> Representative. Representative. Yeah. There you go. Airbag. Done. Airbag. <laughs> Until you type things up, you don't realize what they're going to spell. Reference. Oh, reference for builders to sell. Builders assembly group. Anyway, airbag does sound better. Roll. What was the question? Oh, what does airbag stand for? <laughs> uh, any others? I see one in the back. Uh, okay, two gig. Um, I'd like smaller than two gig. I but. Uh, if somebody has an image that they want that's in within two gigs uh, and they're willing to work with with us, yes, that would be. And what was the other question? Oh, the first question was, would a two gig, image, two gig installer image be in the goal? And the answer is yes, it would fit in. Uh, the four gigabyte limit came out of my head. Uh, as, as a regular DVD size, as opposed to a double set layer double DVD. Can you find a four gig by SD card? Then? A USB stick, but yeah. wow! It's really hard to find one. But you can still find them. Yeah, it it was it was really pulled out of the air. That's why there was a question mark after it. I personally would like something smaller, but I. Figured somebody somewhere probably wants something bigger, like whoever asked for two gig. Any other questions? Does this sound like something people want? Something I want. Okay. Uh, Jack. I have a question. So are you proposing to maintain those images once they're built for updates? Uh, updates as in, what, what do you mean by updates? Well, accepted by the SIG, right? So what happens if there's like security mitigation, CV, stuff like that? Who, who's responsible? Well, I mean, are the, are the, is the person that puts the scripts together going to be oh, responsible no. for maintaining that? Or is the SIG planning on? If they, need, if they need it rebuilt, we will rebuild it. But um, that's sort of where the quarterly thing is. Right. Because we want to do at least quarterly and that's why I say at least quarterly, so that we always have the latest 
latest updates. And if there's an emergency one, we'll we'll respin it. That's the thing we want to make it simple to do, um, so that we we aren't it, so it's not a pain. We got two questions over here. <laughs> arm wrestle. I think you're going to win, Josh. I saw that um, arm. Okay. Currently, the answer, okay, the question is, do I have any quality assurance on the images that are spin up? Currently, the answer is no. Uh, that is actually a very good thing to, to put in. Um, well, let's put that into, like, number four, because personally, the, the desktop one, I planned on just spinning it up to make sure all the desktop works. But that would be good for, you know, if, if the... Hyperscale SIG wants something. So uh, that's, a, that's a very good question. The answer is currently no, but uh, I like that. And automating it is great too. Uh, Brian. Okay. Um, do you think the, the documentation uh, with that cover, uh, like best practices and uh, tooling, strong recommendations with like folks that are putting together the site, this, this is the way that we go about all the Under the goal. I, I, okay, the question was, uh, do I feel that the documentation would, would cover? I'm going to just lump that into best practices, recommending best practices for our tools. And the answer is yes. Um, Yeah, and I'm I'm so, Of a CV. Okay, let me let me just re repeat your comment for the for the cloud. The cloud. Uh, sorry, Brian added a comment that he thinks it would be a good place for the SIG to meet for for various things for not various things for like if the hyperscale SIG and the automotive SIG got together and this would be the place where we would meet to talk about the images. So when there was, is a CVE or a best practices and stuff, we'd be able to talk about it. If I summarize that right. Yep. And there was a, a, a um, there already is a net installer. So, so that would, that's, Yeah. Oh, I, you probably didn't hear, but uh, Neil said there's probably only one reason to do a net install, and that would be to make it so that you can click on have Apple during the net install. And he says, but is that a good enough reason for a net install? Okay, what was the other one? When when can we start? Uh, I, I do not know yet. Uh, I'm not on the board, and uh, although they said, told me to proceed, we have not been officially declared a, a SIG. So I am proceeding as far, fast as possible. When we are a, a real SIG, I will be sending out emails to the CentOS Devel uh, with, you know, the the where the wiki is when the meetings start, things like that. Uh, Carson. Did you think that 
Uh, we're always looking for people, but uh, we do currently have six people that have said that they would like to participate. Um, send me an email, or there's there is an uh, email thread on the Centos de Bell. so that would so either either send me an email T Dawson that uh, you know what I like I like this slide I don't know why <laughs> uh, T Dawson at redhat.com or just reply to the thread. Yes, it will because it will keep the thread at the top of the 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 email. Any other any other questions? I'm gonna keep posing while she takes pictures of me. <laughs> All right, thank you.